good evening oh my goodness i hope this will catch up to you because i've done it to store it where i am some of you it's daytime for a few are you're just sleeping some of you have just woke up but some of you are sleeping when you read this it must be tomorrow and it is it's a is not is that it is it's um it's better to read than never that out it says and um i know um i just left one hour there and um this day has finished but i have to do this because i promised to do it and there's no obligation about this it's my own way to do this to come here because this man is almost over when i said i'm praying for you and i mean it i pray for you with my heart and I wanted to talk to you about this um, Jeremiah 29 uh, verse 11 as you, if you know the says for I, for I know the plan I have for you declares the Lord plans to welfare and not for evil to give you future and the hope then you call upon me and I'll come and, and pray to me and I will hear you you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart and I'll be found by you declares the Lord and I will store you fortune and gather you to them and gather you from all nations and all places where I have driven you, declares the Lord. And I will bring you back to the place where which I sent you exile. Praise be to God. I want to tell you tonight that and today that God knows the plan he has for you. No matter what you are going through right now. No matter what is hardest time in your life, no matter you cannot see, you cannot to make ends, you know, you cannot make ends meet. No matter you are, you are, you, you didn't eat tonight. No matter you didn't have a job tonight. No matter you didn't get what you are looking to not to tonight. No matter you are looking for a boyfriend you have not found yet. Don't give up, because God has a plan for you. He has a plan for you and it means he has a plan for you. You don't have to worry because what we are as human beings, we worry too much and we don't know that God has a plan for us. And we worry about what God, because God does not talk to you because you just have to read the Bible. The Bible is the only way which can help you to understand what when God is talking to you. Read more Bible. When you, you are lost, from nowhere you cannot find yourself if you have a bible please read it and it's good to have a, this bible with you because you can just open any page and you can read it but from the phone you cannot read every you cannot predict you cannot open the pages with yourself you cannot just say i've opened this page and i want to read it because it's a way of showing yourself how God is speaking to you. God speaks to us through the Bible. God speaks to us this through His Word, because it says in John chapter one verse, um, John verse one verse chapter one verse one, and says God in the beginning there was Word, and the Word was God, and the God was there with Word. So, it's a matter of you reading the Bible. And that's how you can get your answers. Because every time I was, I used to memorize. I, I I used to read. I used to write a lot of books. Sometimes the my books vanish. They got lost. I don't know where they went. Because I've been planning. I would write my prayers. I would go to the um, to the internet and find a prayer which was describing the situation I was going through and I'll write it and I'll, I will always memorize it and even today I have some prayers I've written down I've been singing them I've been talking to them and I've been reading them every day because I, there's somebody out there who God has given the Holy Spirit has given the power to help others and I used to read that I never knew when God would answer me but God answered me and that is what I want to tell you speak to yourself don't wait for somebody to speak to you. Speak to yourself. Be encouraged that God can hear your prayers. Don't think there's somebody who can pray for you and all be fine. I'm here to guide you. And if you follow my instruction, you will be in a good place. 
in sooner than you think but if you ignore this i don't know how you understand if you don't read, watch my videos don't follow what i say you don't you skip my videos you don't watch them all some are wrong some are short you know you just have to watch to the end so you can understand and i cannot read you this um i'm just open this first and i'll read it to uh, chapter one to six and it's psalms 31 i'll read from month first so as one to verse six in you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In you, I just deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a lock on refuge for me, a strong fortress to favor me. For you are my lock, my fortress, and for your name's sake, read me and guide me. You take me out of the net they have hidden for me, for you are my refuge. For you, into your heart I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord. A faithful God. Hide those who break the guns, whether it's idled, but I trust in Lord. Let that be your prayer tonight. Every day you are down, you don't know what to do, you don't know what next. Please read Psalms. It will give you every answer you need. It is said they say where you can thank God, they say you can pray to God, they swear you can ask God for forgiveness and you can find every answer you need from the book of Psalms. I hope you will be on your foot to stand strong and you will not be moved. I know I've been praying for you this way this month and I know God will touch you and you change your situation because I know if I be selfish and pray for myself around God will not hear me but if I pray for you God will also hear me because somebody else is praying for me be blessed and i know god will hear you before this this man the end god will answer your prayers believe are patient and keep praying let us pray father in the mighty name of jesus i come before you this evening i glorify your mighty name thank you father for the fire you have brought me thank you father for the for the love and guidance and the spirit and the holy spirit to guide me through this i know god you've given me the sons for this man to pray for whoever will watch this oh my father i know some are going through tough time i know some are going through hard times i know some cannot know what to do next because the tuition they are at now they cannot be moved they cannot know what to do oh jesus find a solution for them my father so that they can know that when you deep when they rely on you they'll never be put to shame neither will they go angry or roast anything of their own their belonging i know father when everybody is trusting in you and believing in you they will they will see and they'll get what they are looking for because you said if you have faith they Faith like a must and said we can see this mountain be moved as it shall be moved. You said we will trust in you and they believe in you. Whatever we ask in your name, my father, we shall receive. And to our father who is in heaven. I know, Father, we ask you for the guidance. We have asked you for the hearing to the viewer of this video tonight. I ask you for forgiveness to those who are looking for forgiveness. I'm asking you to heal them with those who have dangerous diseases, those who cannot receive. Oh, those who cannot have kids or oh, those who cannot receive blessing father this this moment my father i reject every boundaries of the darkness every boundaries of not catching someone i break every boundaries of not being blessed i break every burdenness every disease every sickness which is tormenting every viewer of this video tonight father may you break them and make them full and all again i pray for somebody who is watching this father let them know that jesus will love them so much and you have the plan for them oh jesus like the way jeremiah 29 it says that you have for you know the plan you have for them not for, for, for welfare and not for the evil. You know when they call on you, oh Jesus, they will be you will answer them and you show them great things, oh my father. I pray for my viewer tonight. I know they are passing through our time. They cannot know what ahead of them. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to follow. They don't know what to do. They don't know anything. They everything they have turned against them. They don't know what to do with you, oh God. They have turned back on their self. They have turned about the everywhere, oh Jesus. But today 
them my father if they come back to you Jehovah God you're going to redeem them and you're going to bless them you are going to renew them and you're going to give them a new life uh, oh father oh Jesus I pray that my father will watch this oh Jehovah God let them receive the miracle that will change their lives let them receive the miracle that will change their life let them receive the miracle that will change their life I glorify your name oh Jesus I give you thanks I give you honor I give you all the glory for your Lord Almighty thank you Jesus for understanding thank you Jesus for answering my prayer thank you Jesus for answering my prayer thank you Jesus for answering the prayer thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus mighty name I pray I'm very amen I father what's in heaven I will be the name the kingdom come the Lord of land as it is in heaven give us this delivery and I forgive us of the passes as he forgives us who trespass against us do not the temptation but deliver us from evil for the power and a kid of and I was very well ever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Be blessed and see you tomorrow.